Hello, very good evening. Um, cleaning your windows is a quite essential task in order to ensure that your windows is running very, very, very smoothly and softly and there is no lag. Um, cleaning your windows, cleaning your registry is very necessary. In order to do that, we are going to use a software called CC Cleaner, which is a very cool and very simple to use software that cleans your windows applications very easily. So in order to learn, stay in touch. This is Dr. Sanbadi from the Shan Academy. So uh, CC Cleaner is a very, uh, very common and very um, vastly used applications if I may put down. It's a very, very easy software and you can download it of the basic version free. Of course, obviously the pro version is costly. Uh, you have to pay for that. So you can download the software and use that software to maintain your Windows 10 very, very conveniently. So here's how we're going to do that. So head on to your browser, go into Google's and just type in CC Cleaner and it should give you CC Cleaner already on the top. Um, I won't go in the ad advertisement. I will just click on the cccleaner.com uh, or you can just directly type in the URL. Once you're on the website, basically it tells you that you can download two versions, either the pro version, which actually is the blue version, which has a lot more feature or you can download the free version. Um, I'm not going into the pro version. If you want, obviously you can go into the pro version. It would allow you to have more uh, files, um, or sorry, it would have allow you to have more tools, techniques uh, to maintaining your windows more professionally with more uh, advanced tech support. However, we're just going for the free download. If I click on the free, it's going to bring me down here. Just going to let me know that if I go on the free, what I will get and if I go for a pro version, here's what we're going to get. So already you can see that if you're with the pro version, there's a lot more nice features. For in our case, I will just click on the download for the free version and it will again take me to another page. This page basically again lists certain basic options that if you're going to download the free version, this is what you're going to get. If you're going to download a professional, but you get a free trial just to get an idea of what's going on with the professional version, or you can buy the pro version and these are all features that would be enabled with that. So if you need certain features like file recovery and faster login with the hard drives and everything, uh, go with the pro version. For us, I'm just going to go for a basic maintenance. I'm going to go using the free version. And in order to download that free version, just click on the cccleaner.com or any other the domains that you want. And it should start the download process automatically. Once you click on the save file button, it would ask you where you want to save the file. Click on this file and I have already downloaded that. And it should just, if you have, just replace it for the latest version and the download should complete. Once the download is complete, double click on the setup. It would launch and start the setup and we will go and install this application. Once you do install it, it will ask you that whether you want to use the CC Cleaner installer. Just give it a yes if it does. And then hopefully the setup would start to work. So here we are. Now it's going to ask us what you want to do. Remember, it's a free version. So the perks with the free version comes in that it also going to install certain additional applications. So if you just click on install, yes, 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 it might have few other features that you might need or might not need. But for in our case, I don't need an Avast free antivirus application with this thing either. So I will make sure that you uncheck this or if you want it, uh, just let it be checked. Click on the install option uh, and it's a very straightforward, simple install that should install within a few seconds. So I will get back to you when it's installed. Okay, so once installation done, it's going to ask us CC Cleaner. It's been installed. View release notes. I don't want to raise the, read that and just click on the run CC Cleaner application. Once you do that, it will go on and launch the application. Now, in order to use the application, it's a very simple, very straightforward. Here's the application. Now in that, basically on the right, you get CC Cleaner, uh, basic cleaner option that goes into your system and cleans everything, every cache file, every basic setup that you want to do that. Uh, then it can go into your registry and it can clean up the registry file as well. You can do that. Obviously, we're going to do that later on along with the tools which are very useful from uninstalling your tools to your startup and you can remove unwanted applications from your startup that you are no longer using. You can disable them. Uh, you can go into your browser plugins that which are the browser plugins have been installed and you can install that so that it, they became very easily. Um, it just becomes lighter version of your browser. Similarly, Disk Manager, Application Finder, System Resource Points, you can Drive Viper. These are very cool tools that are available with our CC Cleaner. So we go into um, the basic CC Cleaner option box. Okay, and it's it's gonna just tell us that it's going to into Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, and every other browser cache, and it's going to check and delete all the possible caches. So just click on the Analyze. And it should analyze. So let it complete. 
Okay, so if you have any browser open, it will give you a message that you need to close the browser in order to access its cookies and delete the, the cache from that particular browser. So in my case, I have that open and I will just click on yes, close all the applications and all the browsers that I'm using. Hopefully it should do that automatically or you can do it manually. The application is taking a long time to close. Would you like to force it to close? Yes, force it, close it. Um, actually, I had done it manually anyway, but still it's going to wait. So let it complete the analyze. So once it's done with the caches um, scanning, you can see that it's got all these files available. Uh, these are all the cache files, images from your memories, from your system dumps to your browsers and everything that basically you no longer need and they are all cache and you can delete them very safely and very easily. And it's showing almost four gigs of data that is uh, can be removed very easily without worrying about that. And that's that's lying in your system and possibly showing and lagging your application. So all you need to do is once it's done the analyzing analysis is complete, just click on the run cleaner. Yes, and let it delete all these cache files from your system which should actually um, hopefully would improve your basic windows the performance so here we are finally all the files clean now the next thing we need to do is you need to go into registry and scan for registry problems that could have occurred due to installing or installing um, bundles of files and if you can see this already it's piling up lots of errors within my windows so uh, let it scan and what it do will it will try to find all the incorrect registries files issues that basically it recognizes that are inappropriate and could be deleted from within your windows registry files uh, that should allow us to work and use the windows more conveniently and more easily okay so once it's done it will list all these issues see this uh, huge list of issues that are occurring in my windows registry i don't know why um, so there all you can see is problem missing shared dll missing shared dll blah 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 things so what it does is let's click on the fix selected issues do you want to back up registry usually it's recommended but i just click on no and fix all selected issues and it should do that so it will just clean up all these 423 selected issues for me and hopefully that should resolve the registry problems that occur okay the next thing up is we go into the tools menu uh, and then we have various different things that are available here that we can do to optimize our windows um, software updater obviously uh, this will uh, go into and see what softwares can be updated um, sometimes we want to do that sometimes we don't uh, depending on that if i go into uninstall um, this is again very useful because it again has lots of things that usually don't up pop up on various different features for example certain apps that might not come into normal windows uninstaller in this case for example i just found on feedback hub i don't know what that is maybe i don't want that I can just come here and uninstall this particular app. I don't know how much it's going to save, but uh, whatever. Then find certain applications that you might not be required uh, to use or you might not be using at all. Uh, and you think that it's just a waste of time. So you can go into it and install, uninstall all of these things. Um, in my case, let me find one more app that I think I would not be using. If there is any, usually um, very difficult to say that. But again, yeah, you can see there's lots of apps available and for me this web component i don't know what that is and i just want to uninstall that and here we go here we go i think it is it's going into it so similarly you can go into it and you try to uninstall various other things website to deliver malware to protect are you sure you want to uninstall whatever it is yes i will take the chance i think it's a free software that got installed by when i was installing some other software that's that's the issues and sometimes they just create more uh, lag within your system so if you don't need them you just uninstall them from here so this is again a very good tool for uninstalling various different applications that you might not be using so in other words samsung keys currently i'm no longer interested in that i can go into it and uninstall these so uninstall all the apps that basically are not using and taking up your memory and other in un, uh, space that uh, basically can slow down your windows systems and then the third thing that we do is we go into our startup now this is again very useful startup basically involves all the apps that get boots or get started when you boot the windows okay so sometimes we don't need certain applications for example samsung keys i'm not using that and it is loading up every time i start windows and it's slowing down my windows progress okay so i can very easily come here and hit disable so it doesn't get logged in on I'm not using my Nikon setup at all currently, so it's not usable. But every time I load, this would actually get loaded into my system. So I just disabled it so that it doesn't get loads. Microsoft Security, obviously, I need that. Advanced Microsystems, I have actually, I think this is my ETA graphics card. Okay, Snaps, Microsoft, 
send to one node i don't know what that is i just gonna disable that as well similarly dropbox betray program files real link real bluetooth that's okay that's okay so just check on application if you don't not sure with the name just go and check the path so uh, make sure the path makes sense to you in other words cc cleaner um, if you're not aware with the name go into the path see program file cc cleaner cc cleaner ah, okay so you know that this this link is related to cc cleaner you might require it you might not require it depending how you're going to do that um, in this case for example web companion uh, this is program files, Lava Soft, Web Companions, Web Applications. I have no idea what this does. I'm just going to disable that. Okay. And then obviously I can delete that key as well. Some, similarly, Samsung keys. I'm not going to require that. I'm going to delete that. So what it should do is it should um, simplify your boot process as well. Similarly, browser plugins. I'm also not very famous with the browser plugins. So I don't use all these. For example, Skype, Java, uh, OneNote, 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 OneNote. I'm just going to disable all these. So every time my browser loads, these plugins get associated with every single browser. I'm not associated with that. So I just blocked everything. Uh, so it should, um, again, be helpful with my windows. Then disk analyzers, you can use the disk analyzers here, duplicate finders, du find duplicate files and zero those bytes. System restore points, um, you can use that uh, when you want to restore your system points from here as well. Usually I don't play, uh, mess with these two things, disk analyzer and duplicate finder. I just don't go into it. I don't understand the basic concept of that. Drive wiper, obviously to format the hard drives. Again, I don't recommend it. Don't do it if you don't know what you're doing. So uh, these are a few things that you do to optimize your things within the systems. Uh, then the, other than that, you can work with your cookies, which cookies get saved or not, and which cookies you want to delete from which websites and so on and so forth, right? So uh, hopefully this tutorial would be useful for you. Um, do like, share, and give your comments below. Uh, anything you don't understand, any feedback you want to give. Uh, and make sure you subscribe my channel. Click on the bell icon so you receive the new notifications, everything. See you around. Thank you very much. Fia Manula.